think we're going to be doing 11.9. There are three pages in this one, two with story problems and solving it in different ways, and then a uh, fluency practice page. So this one I'm not going to explain, getting it in your brain. You know, I've already, we've done those a lot. But these ones are a little bit more tricky than the previous ones that we have done in the unit. So I'm going to take a little bit more time with these. Um, and it's also done in a slightly different way. All right, so I'm going to start with horses in the barn. So this time you really need to be focused on the story problem to figure out what they're asking you and all the clues. So I'm going to first read it. This one is working with unknown numbers. So they only give us one number, really, and we need to figure out the rest. It's laying the foundation for subtraction. I see 10 horses in the barn. I'm going to stop right there, and I'm going to underline that because it's important information. 10 horses. Some of the horses are black, and some are brown. So I know there's two kinds of horses. There are black horses and brown horses. Two horses are brown. So I'm going to underline that. It's telling me two of them are brown. How many horses are black? Now, there are different ways you can figure it out. They have one, two, three, four, five different ways that they're asking you to figure it out. One way I would start is I'm going to draw 10 horses. It's not art class, it's math class. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to start with the ten because they told me there are ten horses in the barn. Ten is my total. I'm not adding them together. I'm figuring out a missing piece. Now I also know that some of them are black and some are brown. I don't have black and brown, so I'm going to do, I'm going to stay with the same colors. Doesn't matter as long as we can tell the difference. Two horses are brown, so I'm going to color in two of those. Two horses are brown. How many horses are black? And so I can count the rest of my horses that I drew out because I knew there are 10 horses, two of them are brown, and I can count out the black ones. And I know there are eight black horses using your fingers. Well, there are 10 horses, two of them are brown. That means there's this many that are black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight showing it with the number bond. You know, remember, it's like I have a cup. I'm pouring one number, the other number, and this is the total. So I know there are two brown horses, and I can go back to my picture. I can use my fingers, figuring out the best way to show it, using my fingers, and I can figure out the other number, two and what make 10? Two and eight make 10. And my number path, I'm going to start at the two, but instead of counting over, this time I know where I'm going to. I know there are 10 in total. So I have to figure out how many spaces I'm moving over. So I'm going to count them so I can remember the number I counted as I move over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two, and eight make 10. My math statement, taking away the additions um, and equal sign, focusing on the concept that we are putting these together. Two and eight make 10. And then again, I can do my 10 frame. Here are my two brown horses. I'm gonna finish filling out because I know I have 10 horses and there are 10 spots in that 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So those are all the different ways that we're figuring out how many black horses there are. If you were to do it with our flower garden, the other page, I'm just gonna run through the top very quickly. My mom planted 10 flowers in the garden. I'm gonna underline that 10 flowers because it's a number it's telling me. She planted some pink flowers and some yellow flowers. That and is telling me it's addition. She planted five pink flowers. That's important, five pink flowers. Then it's asking how many yellow flowers did she plant? And just like we did with horses in the barn, I would start by drawing a picture. One, two, three, four, five, it's a little messy, sorry. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They know there are 10 flowers total. They told me there are 10. I drew my circles. 
and then I'm going to color in the number that I know how many there are. There are five pink flowers. One, two, three, four, five. And that tells me that there are five yellow flowers and finishing out just like you did for horses in the barn. And then the fluency practice page. Thank you very much.